Well, Henry, I hate to start on a, on kind of a negative note, but I, I have to ask it. There was a tweet that came out literally like as you were arriving to the stage that a reporter said from a source that you were in a workout room screaming last night that there was an injury of some kind. Can you can you update us on the physical condition if there's any any truth to that? No, 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 uh, absolutely not. I'm I'm good. I'm strong. I'm healthy. Uh, I, I don't. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I guess maybe it was probably even given more credence by you not working out today. When did you make the decision not to work out and to do kind of a uh, speech? No, it's because I'm un I'm under science. I'm with Neuroforce One, and they they don't want me to do particular things. As you guys have kept up with my social media, I'm good. I mean, I don't know what else I got. That's good. Uh, 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 uh. I mean, shit, I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> okay. So I feel good, I feel good. Cool. I, I did have a little bump on uh, my knee, on my, my right knee, but it was, I hit I hit, I hit the, the edge of the damn corner and it hurt, that's it. Just kind of stubbed your knee. Yeah, yeah, but watch. All good. Yeah, I'm good, guys. Yeah, I was at training room, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was, that was cool. it. Well, now shit, man, you guys, uh, you guys have, is TMZ, uh, is TMZ still following me? <laughs> what, what's going on? Well, now that we know you're physically good, talk about just kind of where you're at right now. I mean, you've, you've accomplished a lot of history in your life, but this would be another historical moment. What's what's the feeling like for you right now? It feels good. It feels good. I mean, this is this, this is the biggest fight of my career. I mean, it is. The reality is, is this this guy's tough. Marlon Marais, he's uh, he's dangerous. He's got he's got powerful kicks, powerful hands. But this is why I enjoy competition. This is why I do compete. I, I'm I'm pretty much competing against myself. Like that's the way I see it. How far can I take this? How far can I take the mind, body, and soul? while making history. It's beautiful. Was there any disappointment that it, it wasn't TJ? I mean, did that change your course at all? Like, was there something about the matchup itself more than the title or, you know, did that change anything for you? Um, no, as it did in the beginning. I was like, well, but then once that whole thing with TJ and the EPOs, I was like, man, I, I, I never want to fight that guy again because it's not fair. So rightfully so, Marlon deserved the, tit the title shot. So I'm happy with it. He's more dangerous too. Like I enjoy competition. I strive through it. There's a reason why I'm I'm the best, man. Because I compete against the best. How much of a boost was it seeing uh, Patricio Pitbull win his title in Bellator, a double champ himself that you, that you train with? Um, yeah, for sure, man. It's uh, and again, that's a guy that I emulate. That's a guy that uh, that I admire, that I look up to, that I call, that I get uh, advice from. And to me, Patricia's one of the pound for pounds. Like you guys may not have him on your radar, but the kid, the dude is one nasty human being. I mean, you don't take out Chandler. Chandler could possibly could be. You can make an argument. Look at what this Ford, look, look, look at what this featherweight has done. It's incredible. So yeah, he is. He, he's a big. Uh, he's a big part of my success. I must say. What about for this camp? How much did you use him for this uh, for this upcoming fight? Uh, quite a bit. Quite a bit. But it was more. It was more to kind of get his input on certain things. Cause you know, obviously, he was focusing on his fight. And, uh, you know, my, my training is very tailored. And this is the reason why we didn't work out, too, for, for that same reason, is making sure we recover. I mean, obviously, the fans, I think the fans took more what I had to say today than, than me throwing a freaking knee, you know, that I bumped. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know Marlon didn't like you as much as it seems like he didn't like you? Did you know that before this week? I don't this know, man. I think he's, he probably has a crush on me, I think. I mean, I don't... What, what is there not to like, Schmo? Everything. <laughs> you heard it from the Schmo. Guys, two more questions for Henry. How do you see this one going down? I mean, what, what are the danger spots? I mean, I know you're confident in yourself and you're showing yourself to be well-rounded, but, but where are the danger spots that you gotta got to stay out of? Um, obviously head kicks. I know he's gonna go for knee bars. I've 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 studied this kid to a T. Same thing with Demetrius. Same thing with TJ. It's like it's it's not a fluke, guys. Like this is this is what I do, man. I'm a I'm, I I probably was never a 4.0 student in high school or in elementary, and I probably cheated a lot. But man, I'm a I'm I'm a 4.0 student, honorable uh, whatever it is, valedictorian in this. Like I study. I I do my homework. There's tendencies, there's patterns to everybody, and you have to pinpoint that stuff. Like I said, my process is my preparation, and uh, there's a reason why I'm an Olympic champ. Henry, I don't, know if I don't know if you've seen last week with uh, Andy, Ruiz, Andy Ruiz becoming the first fighter of Mexican descent to become the heavyweight champion in the world, beating Anthony Joshua. And did you watch that fight at all? And if you did, what kind of inspiration does that give you heading to the center? Yeah, I think being, all, be, being, being American with Mexican descent or being Mexican-American, however you want to call it, it's it's a victory for all of us because that's 
the, the lineage of all these Mexican warriors who have won, even going back to Cain Velasquez and MMA. I mean, this stuff has, has, has set the path for me to become the best. So, I mean, it, it's a victory for all of us. And yeah, man, you can, you can, look, like a, you, you can look like the average Joe outside. You can, you can beat up a chiseled guy. You know, so it, it, it's inspiring to me. It's, it's, it's inspiring to every, every, every little kid that's probably raised in his area that he's, that he's in a touch. And I think that's, you know, congratulations to him. Thank you, guys. And by the way, I have a gold medal and a belt. I'm going to add another belt later. <laughs>